Recombinant human proteins are widely used in biomedical assays. As it serves as the substitute of the native protein, how close it resembles the native protein is of vital importance for us to correctly interpret the experimental data and to understand its biology. How to produce the best recombinant protein? That is the focus of this presentation. There are unlimited ways that protein can be used in research. Here we highlighted a few. They can be used in protein interaction assays or as antigens for antibody production. Human proteins can be used as standards for a variety of assays, including ELISA, in vitro biochemical, and cell-based functional assays. Heavy isotope-labeled proteins can be used as standards for quantitative mass spectrometry, MRM, SRM. Several key elements needed for the production of a recombinant protein. These include, one, the appropriate expression vector containing the encoded gene with the proper transcriptional and translational control. Two, the proper expression host, a cell system for protein synthesis and modification. Three, the optimal protein purification scheme. Of these three elements, the expression host is of vital importance as the biology of the host cells determines the characteristics of the recombinant protein that is produced. Multiple host systems are commonly used to produce recombinant human proteins. These include E. coli cells, yeast cells, insect cells, mammalian cells. Each system is unique and has advantages and disadvantages. E. coli is by far the simplest, quickest, and least costly way to express human proteins. The most popular expression vectors use an inducible promoter upstream of the coding sequence fused with a GST or his tag. The advantage of the E. coli system is low cost and high yield. The exogenous expressed protein can comprise up to 50% of the total cellular protein. However, the expression of human proteins in prokaryotes such as E. coli has many limitations. The rapidity of bacterial protein expression often results in unfolded and or misfolded proteins that may affect the protein solubility and functional activity. The inability of E. coli to perform eukaryotic post-translational modifications may also result in low protein solubility, reduced function, and low resemblance to the native human protein. In addition, endotoxin contamination of the protein preparation is also a common problem with bacterial hosts. Yeast expression systems have been used for producing large amounts of proteins for industrial and biopharmaceutical applications. As a eukaryotic system, yeast has compartmentalized secretion systems and can carry out some post-translational processes, such as glycosylation and phosphorylation, that are lacking in prokaryotic systems. Recombinant proteins can be secreted by the yeast and recovered from the medium. Nevertheless, yeast systems are not ideal for many human proteins. For example, proteins secreted by yeast systems tend to be heavily glycosylated at consensus glycosylation sites. Thus, expression of recombinant proteins in yeast systems historically has been confined to proteins where glycosylation patterns do not affect the function of proteins. A slightly more complex protein expression system utilizes baculovirus-infected insect cells. It is often acknowledged that the baculovirus insect cell system has eukaryotic protein processing capabilities. It is generally true that insect cells can fold, modify, traffic, and assemble newly synthesized polypeptides to produce highly authentic, soluble end products. However, it is equally true that insect protein processing pathways are not necessarily equivalent to those of higher eukaryotes. One of the best examples is the protein N-glycosylation pathway, which results in different glycosylation patterns compared to mammalian cell expression. In addition, overexpression may result in insoluble inclusion bodies. Mammalian cell, human cell in particular, is the ideal manufacturing platform to produce human proteins. Its advantages over the lower order expression systems are clear. In the presence of appropriate protein process machinery and the chaperone proteins, recombinant proteins produced in mammalian systems have the best chance for optimal folding, proper modification, trafficking to the correct destinations, and therefore optimal bioactivity preservation. This is especially important for membrane proteins, which are a group of most studied proteins. Yet the protein yield from a mammalian system tends to be lower than those from lower organisms. The production takes longer due to slower cell growth rate. Together with the requirement of more expensive labor and facility, it translates into higher production cost. 
But for the functional study of human proteins, mammalian cells are definitely the system of choice. With fewer potential artifacts introduced by heterologous expression systems, mammalian proteins are more similar to native proteins, and the experimental data generated with mammalian cell-produced proteins is far more relevant for biology. Although it is desirable to express human proteins in mammalian cells, it is still costly and time-consuming for each researcher to perform each protein expression individually. Production of a recombinant protein is a multi-step process involving various facilities, reagents, and skill sets. To address this challenge, Origene, the largest source of human expression cDNA clones, produced thousands of human proteins from the HEC-293 cells, reaching 8,000 at the end of 2012, and continues to grow. This is by far the largest protein collection from mammalian systems available. Our multi-step process starts with a true ORF gold clone, a ready-to-use expression vector verified for mammalian protein expression. Ion exchange columns are used to produce milligrams of purified plasmids, which are then used to transfect a large-scale HEC-293 cell culture. Affinity columns are used to purify the recombinant protein with the DDK expression tag. The proteins are analyzed by SDS page gel electrophoresis and data are then displayed on the Origene website. Origene's protein catalog is an expanding portfolio of over 8,000 proteins and approximately 100 new proteins are added monthly. All proteins are searchable on our website through gene symbol and accession number. The standard quantity is 20 micrograms per vial and all 8,000 are ready for immediate shipment. Custom formats and services are offered such as bulk orders, special buffer requirements, domain expression, and expression in different cell lines or expression systems. We selected a few important proteins for functional testing and found them to have higher biological activities. Here is the mTOR data. mTOR is a pivotal serine 3-anine protein kinase that regulates various aspects of cell activities. In this graph, the kinase activity was measured in an HTRF assay. Three recombinant mTOR proteins from different commercial vendors were compared, each produced using different strategy. The blue line represents Origene's full-length human protein expressed from HEC-293 cells, the red line represents a truncated mTOR protein, and the green line represents the full-length mTOR from insect cells. For a screening of an inhibitor or an interlacing molecule, isn't it clear which mTOR protein product should be used? Here, IDH1 proteins purified from human and insect cells are compared. Enzymatic activities were determined by monitoring NADPH formation based on the absorbance at 345 nanometers, with isocitrate as a substrate and NADP as a cofactor. The red and green spots represent IDH1 wild-type protein from HEC-293 cells and SF9 cells. The blue dot and cross are cancer-related mutant IDH1 R132H as a homolog or heterodimer. In summary, HEC-293 cell-produced IDH1 are much more active than SF9 cell-produced IDH1, while the R132H mutant or the WTR132H heterodimers are inactive. The successful use of Origene's recombinant human proteins have been demonstrated in the literature. During the last three years, dozens of papers have been published citing Origene's recombinant mammalian express proteins. A selected list of these publications can be viewed on our website. In addition to full-length human proteins, Origene also offers a variety of related products, including overexpression lysates, the homogenized cell lysates from transfected HEC-293 cells, ideal for antibody specificity sensitivity evaluations, and as standards in Western blot and ELISA. Mass spec standards. By labeling the HEC-293 cells with heavy isotopes, the purified proteins carry the heavy isotope and serve as a perfect internal reference for SRM-MRM applications. Primary antibodies. Origene's proteins are used as immunogens to generate a new class of monoclonal antibody, TRUMAB. Due to the unique nature of the immunogen, TRUMABs are more likely to recognize the native protein target in its physiological condition, therefore are better antibodies for assay development. Please visit our website and search for your protein in a variety of ways. Type your target symbol in our search bar or use the extension number. Mouse over our Products tab. Go down to Protein and click Purified Proteins. Under Protein and Antibodies, click the underlying text in 8000 Purified Human Proteins. 
In addition to full-length human proteins, Origene offers a variety of related products, including cDNA clones, monoclonal antibodies, shRNA, and more. Take advantage of our collection of 8,000 human proteins to accelerate your protein research, or you can tap into our protein expression expertise with customized protein services. Whether you are building a functional assay, screening for an interacting protein, or searching for a small molecular inhibitor, Origene is ready to help.